we appreciate it very much. Well, thank you. It's so, nice to be here. It, it's relaxed. They may interrupt you to ask questions. They may laugh at your jokes. They may not laugh at your jokes. <laughs> it's all uh, very easy, <laughs> very easy flow. Well, uh, I guess you primarily wanted to know what my baseball career was about. Yeah, no, we can and talk hunting and fishing, too. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, I'm a little better at that. <laughs> a lot better, in fact. Uh, well, I'll go back a little bit and start with, uh, with my high school. I, I played ball at uh, Bemis Point Central School, and uh, from there, uh, I graduated in 1948 and 49. Frank Gore uh, had me sign up with the uh, Philadelphia Phillies and uh, the, uh, the Detroit Tigers I ended up with, actually. I signed with them. I, uh, and from there I went to uh, uh, North Carolina for spring training. Southern Pines. With with Jamestown? Yeah, yeah with Jamestown. We're about to North Carolina. Southern Pines. And uh, spent spring training there. From there, they farmed me out to a little town called Dun Irwin in the Tobacco State League. <laughs> oh, gee, that was fun. Yeah, and I played, I played ball there for about a month. <laughs> I pitched uh, five games, I remember that. I uh, had a I won two and lost one. I remember that was my record. And uh, then I, my mother broke her back in a car accident and I came home and that was the end of my baseball career, really, as far as professional baseball. But I came home and played ball here. And I met this guy many times, and you too. <laughs> but I played with Walt Brown, Ellie Norton. And Ellie. Oh, yeah. you signed with Bradford. You have to break that yeah. contract. Yeah. How did yeah. you do that? Yeah. Well, Johnny Pollock, he was the one that wanted me to play with the, or sign with the Phillies. He was a scout for the Phillies. And I wanted to play with, uh, with the Falcons, because it was, you know, right here, hometown. So I, after I had signed, I went down and talked to Johnny, and he says, well, we can, we'll work something out here, which they did. They, they dropped the contract, and I signed with Jamestown. Uh, that was the extent of my baseball career, really. No, what year was that? That was 49. 49. 49. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the Phillies Bob the Shockey was the, was the yeah. manager, I remember, of the, of the Falcons when I played. Where were the Phillies going to send you? Do you have any idea? Were you going to no. be in the NYP no. League, Ponywood? Uh, were they with yeah. Bradford in those days? I think it was, uh, what was Olean? Oh, Olean? Yeah. yeah. I think it was Olean. I believe so. Yeah. But not being a player, I ended up meeting a lot of players, professional players, and uh, made a lot of good friends. Uh, through one trip to Florida in 1983, I met a, a fellow by the name of Kevin Gross, who stayed in a little uh, efficiency apartment next to where I was with my wife. And you probably all know Kevin. He's a pitcher now with the with the uh, <coughs> Los Angeles Dodgers, and he had a good record. And you got Jack Russell, and he was a catcher with the Phillies at the time, backup catcher. And then he went on to the Texas Rangers and caught for Nolan Ryan. And you've got uh, Jerry Kuzman, who you all know. And you've got Shane Raleigh, Kevin Gross, Larry Anderson, still with him. Larry's back with the Phillies now. Mike Schmidt came up. I got a bunch of pitchers at home. Yeah. And uh, uh, Lefty uh, Carlton. Mm -hmm. Steve. Steve, yeah. Two yeah. Hall of Famers there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think one of the nicest experiences I ever had was uh, in 1988, Kevin Gross made the All-Star team. And the All-Star game was in Cincinnati. Uh, and he invited my wife and I to the game. And we stayed at the Regency with him and his wife and all the other ballplayers from both leagues, American League and National League. 
and they treated us like uh, king and queen. We had dinner with them. We went to the ball game with them. We, we sat with the ball players' uh, families. Uh, it was just a great time. After the game was over, they had uh, a ballroom all to themselves, the players and their wives. And uh, we uh, we just had a great time. I met I met all the ball players on, on you know the National League and the the uh, American League. Each ball player gets four baseballs signed by both teams. In other words, the American League, all the All Stars sign. They get each each player gets four balls. Yeah, that's great. And Kevin gave me one of the balls. Wow. That's what you signed with Bradford. You remember what you signed for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was $200. Let's see now. I got $200 a month plus all expenses. That's what it was. <clears throat> we played an exhibition game against Durham, North Carolina, Class A. I remember I went in there. I think I, I was supposed to go in and pitch the second three innings. They had a guy down there named Churchill. I think he'd been with them for about 15 years. Never gone up, but he could hit the ball. You know, just ungodly. Got a good hitter, long ball hitter. Now I remember in center field behind the fence, there was a two-story building. <laughs> And I remember on top of that two-story building there was an American flag. And I remember when I, the ball that this Churchill hit off me went over that flag. <laughs> <laughs>